wow, what a project. So I've worked with these clients before and this time I've been lucky enough to be let inside their own home. I absolutely love what we've done here and I could think of no better person to work alongside with than Canavans for the kitchen. Thank you very much for bringing us on board. It's been a super project. Um, what we've done with the space, what the space originally was and how we've transformed that to what, what you see here it's today. It's been amazing. Um, like this area was originally a kitchen and a huge dining, dining room. room. There was a, an aquarium on the right hand side. And we've transformed that space now all completely and by introducing the more casual living area, we then worked together on trying to break up the space. It was one big long area, so we had to try and define it. So we did that um, in a few different ways. You guys looked at the detail of the ceiling, how we've broken that up, then the rug, etc. even just creates a different texture to, to the room, and then the kitchen then itself for that. Yeah. One of the reasons I love working beside Canavans is the creativity they bring to their kitchens, which is completely unique to other kitchen designers. I mean, if you just look, Jason, at how this framework is created around the cooker. The clients did come to the showroom um, and they seen their basic ideas of what, what they liked, what they didn't like, and, but we've reinvented that. We haven't followed a certain uh, copy and paste exercise. We've looked at the mantle detail here. Well, this, is, this is like a liquid metal. We have a brass inlay here as well that frames the mantle. Do we keep the flooring or do we change the flooring? That flooring, as we know, it ran through the whole, everywhere, house, whole yeah. of the house, ground floor, down and stairs into the basement. So that was nearly our starting point. One of the, one of the obstacles um, we had to overcome in the space was um, the ceiling height. Um, a lot of houses, uh, I think the client originally would have loved the coven detail yeah. around the entire yeah. area. Yeah. But for, for me and the, the design team at Canavan, we feel that it's more important to keep the furniture mold running around the top of the cabinetry. It's, yeah. It, yeah. it's proportionally designed, it suits the style of the furniture. So um, we worked together on that and we felt that you need to do something with the ceiling at the same yes. time. And that's yeah. when you come in with the, the coffer, coffer yeah. detail up here. Yes, we've used this fluted classical coven detail around the perimeter here with ambiance lighting and planted on moulding onto the centre of the ceiling. I love this worktop and I especially love the way you use the two contrast colours and the brass inlay. We worked with the, the client, uh, the guys who went and visited multiple providers for, for this. Throughout all of Ireland, I think. Ireland and yeah. we looked at the UK as well. Yeah. We wanted something that was actually going to work. Yeah. The, um, there's a, there's a young family here as well. So and we durability, have, the colour, it's a bit more you forgiving. To, you take that all into the mix. So this, this quartzite infinity ticked all the boxes. What we've done here, you can see, is we have introduced the brass inlay. We have incorporated the brass because we thought this was a good contrast with the material. We've used maybe different materials before, but the brass really set out. And I think, think that's where you picked up the detail. Yeah. And then where you punched that in throughout the rest of the space. Yeah. Then onto the bar stools also the most beautiful beaded intricate fabric on the back. Again, it had to be really practical. So we've done the leather on the inside and the contrast piping. And it also ties in with the colors that we've used in the rest of the skin, playing up in these aubergine and okra colors. Well, you're getting that here in the yeah, actual the work exactly. up exactly. So it picks it all up. And the brass around the bottom of the stools as well. And then also we have brought it into the light fitting over the dining room table, which is these gorgeous pieces of scalloped opaque glass, creating a really nice feature down here. So it's casual, but it's still dressy. You know, this, you this can is, have both this, is busy, this will be a busy space. Yeah. For them. This, is, this is Monday to Friday. Exactly. Um, all the family together and working off that. And even if they want a more sort of dressy or evening, where they don't want to go into the main formal room, but they just want a few people around here, this still can be lit up with nice ambiance and still look very pretty and magical in the evening time. And I love the course that's used on top of here too and the contrast of that with the dark is well, just so effective. There's actually a story about this material. This is called, uh, this is another quartzite and the main drive for this material here, um, we found a snip of it yeah. up at the Le Mans stone. It matched perfectly with the tile. That's so right. this, this material is actually um, I think it's not been quarried anymore. So we had to find a piece for the dining table. We had to find a piece for the splashback 
the two pieces of the perimeter at each side of the island. We managed to pull that all together. Yeah. The client was delighted. I love what we've done underneath the table. The fluted timber, the brass, the dark wood circle. This elevates the table to another level as well, doesn't it? We used the same leathers we did in the bar stools and the dining room chairs. And we also used it around the booth seating as well. A lot of thought's been put into this booth seating. We want longevity. We want something that's going to create comfort. Quality. Your quality. It's the same as treating the people maybe invest in the sofa. Yeah. The same effort had we made with the booth seating yeah. here. So in this zone, we created this custom TV unit. Again, we wanted this to work for the kitchen. The clients wanted a TV in here, but we didn't want the TV to take over the room too much. What we thought about was using this veneer timber chevron wallpaper as a backdrop and this really nice quartz worktop. And then the wall lights elevated to another level and of course create that lovely sort of ambient lighting as well. So one of the focal points about this room as well was introducing this rug also helping zone the two areas. Really nice, really nice colours. Love working alongside this company. It's a Portuguese company. So you basically can create whatever style, design you want and whatever colours. And it also gives the client a completely unique and bespoke rug. Jason, how did we arrive in this style of furniture? Uh, well, the guys uh, came up to the showroom and when they seen our new display, we worked on this over, over lockdown. So brand new, we have created a new beaten detail. The fluted detail that you're seeing here. And then probably the biggest thing is this new chamfer detail. Love it, yeah. This then reflects on your, your skirting detail to so all the miters. And then you have your three part built up then for your corners as well. It just brings that to life mm -hmm. rather than just mm -hmm. one miter. Elevates it. The cooker was over here. And there was a void here where the two doors are leading into the dining room. And this is one of the reasons I love working alongside you guys, because you don't only just think about the kitchen and boxes, you also think about the architectural aspect to the space. Well, that's, that's where, we're, where we're getting more heavily involved in doing that. It's not just about throwing units against the wall, there's your kitchen. The original kitchen, it was stopping and starting, so we needed the longevity. So, by able to stretch the furniture, you're, it doesn't make sense. You sometimes you think you want to, by creating a bigger and a lot more furniture, you are closing in the space, but we've got the balance right, I Perfect think. Perfect balance, so yeah. You've, it's playing with the details, it's stepping in and out, it's using different textures. I talk about furniture heavy, so Perfect. furniture heavy is just way too much furniture. You Perfect. can't have all furniture, just it look too bedroom you like, and it's, yes. it's not what you want to create for a kitchen. You need to break it. Yes. So and make it less kitcheny nearly. Correct. Yeah. So what, how we've done that is, we took our center point, so our center point was the range, and we worked that out. So at this side, we have our, our, our dry food larder, and that'll yes. have a spice rack, and this would be a very busy unit. That's then reflected on this door here. And Which that, gives an element of surprise as well. I love secret door. So these clients love entertaining. And wow, have they not got the perfect size of Centre Island to party. Well, this, Shauna, this island does that and more. Uh, we have, for me, the island is the centrepiece of furniture in any kitchen. We have got our bar stools here. We've got attached our lower seating area here as well. So there can be different conversations going on. With the island being so big, just under five meters, we want to create different layers here as well. So we've got a rotunda, which just creates it like a different lipping, different textures as opposed to the, the main body of worktop. And then the slotted base that the sort of hides the, the breakfast or the seating area from that inner side there as well. Another exciting project. Yes, with the feedback from the client, we've exceeded all their expectations. Looking forward to the next one. Can't wait. Excited.